Who wins this battle of the mid-sized trucks? Is it the 2024 Nissan Frontier or the 2024 Toyota Tacoma? And today's competitors, we've got the Nissan Frontier SV Crew Cab in gun metallic. Uh! And we've got Tacoma Double Cab SR5 in celestial silver. Let's get ready to rumble! And I'm filming thanks to two different dealerships, Fred Anderson, Nissan of Raleigh. They have a lot of inventory. Go to nissanofraleigh.com and Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. You can go to fredandersontoyota.com. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna walk all the way around both of them. You can get a feel for the front ends, the side profiles. And the thing about this review is number one, Tacoma was just redesigned, all new for 2024. The Nissan Frontier was not. So that's not exactly fair. However, as a reviewer, we can't compete year versus year, apples versus apples. We have to go by what we have. Boy, that looks nice though. Interesting wheel design. It's very three dimensional, my friends. Very three dimensional. We have to go as reviewers by what the manufacturers have out in the same year. I wish all the mid-sized sedans, mid-sized trucks would all be redesigned at the same time so that we could do a fair and balanced comparison. And for this one, they're gonna be things that you like best. Maybe you're a Nissan guy. Maybe you're a Toyota gal. They're gonna be things you like about each one. So write down in the comments section which ones you like and why and maybe you like this interior maybe you like that exterior styling i don't know we'll find out let's get started we're going to do an interior first look we'll start with the frontier in gun metallic now these seats are not adjusted forward backward all that jazz i literally just opened up the truck we're going to find out the rear seat legroom because that's something that mid-size fans might be interested in but for right now this is the first look yeah, we're gonna pick, compare legroom, headroom, front seat, back seat on both vehicles. And so you're gonna have a definite opinion over which one you like. Here comes Tacoma in celestial silver. We're gonna do the same exact thing so we can get a feel for this. I'll adjust the seats, like I said. I'll put one more forward, one more back. Are you getting a flavor, a feeling, a vibe, a sense of which one might be your favorite? Will pricing matter? We're gonna show the window stickers at the end of this video because I have them both. Yes siree. So how about the seat patterns? Does that make a difference to you? The multimedia maybe? Where they put their cup holders? We're gonna find all that and yes, we're gonna turn on the electronics too. All right, let's go. Let's start out of the hood with performance. We're gonna do some performance fast acts. The clear advantage to me with the hood design is going to be the Nissan because it has the hydraulic lifts. That's pretty cool. Now this one has a prop rod on Tacoma, but it does have an advantage that it has two different positions here. I can put it here, I can put it here, depending on if I wanna be taller, smaller. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. If you have to have a truck that's a V6 engine, you might wanna consider the Nissan. This is a 3.8 liter V6 engine. Really interesting flip-flop of specs here because this has 310 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque. It's matched with a nine-speed automatic transmission. And Tacoma has really upped its game here. 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Listen to this. This has 278 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque. So it has tremendous low-end torque, push, pull. And this is matched with an eight-speed automatic transmission. You'll find disc brakes in the front and the rear of the Nissan Frontier. Also double wishbone front suspension, multi-leaf rear suspension. Tacoma has gone with front and rear disc brakes. Tacoma fans will be happy. And then it has double wishbone front suspension and coil spring rear suspension. Say hello to my little friend. Nissan Frontier has a 21 gallon fuel tank and then it's 18 in the city, 24 in the highway, 21 combined. How does that compare to this one? Oh yeah, you like that gas mileage? Hold my beer. This one has an 18.2 gallon fuel tank on Tacoma and then it is 21 in the city, 26 on the highway, 23 combined. 
Hello. And who has the better front end? This guy or this dude? Check out the design philosophy here between the left and the right and the right and the left. Horizontal bars here, diamond pattern here. Look how aggressive the Frontier hood is. And I like the fact that it spells Frontier. It's very smart. People looking in the rear view mirror, that's branding, my friends. They're gonna see that Frontier coming. I like the ridges there, the nice bulged up hood there. It's pretty cool. Big, big headlights, but they're not LED. They're also not LED daytime running lights on this SV. I don't see fog lights on here, although you can add them as an option. They just went off. Take a look here. I love the new Lisa, Nissan logo. The Nissan, Nissan Life, Nissan logo. That's very cool too. So I really like this design. Looks super nice. What is it gonna be compared to this one here? Tacoma. This one comes with standard LED lights, daytime running lights, and fog lights. Okay, just complete different philosophy. Look, it's bulged more on the outside than right here. So maybe that appeals to you, or maybe the Nissan appeals to you. Okay, one last look. It's like in Hamilton. One last time. Who wins? Which truck has the better profile? If you're seeing it like this, which one catches your eye? The little sister of Tundra? The little brother of Titan? You tell me. And who wore their wheel design best? It's like one of those magazines. Who wore the dress best? Well, Nissan Frontier or Toyota Tacoma. We've been going with Frontier first, so we'll follow suit. There's our Tacoma. Now you can get a crew cab, a king cab. You can get, that's with the Frontier. With Tacoma, you can get the extra cab and you can get the double cab. Just depends on what your preference is. This one has more smoothed out lines. You can definitely see the ridges here. I like how this comes down and then down. That's more of a, not a jagged edge, it's a smooth jagged edge. It's like Alanis Morris at, with a jagged little pill. Nice. And then look at the window design here, how it kind of scallops down there. That's kind of cool. All right, so take a look at the door handles, the side mirrors even. We're comparing it all, okay? And now we're going to Tacoma. This one definitely has more pronounced lines. Are they better lines? All right, take a look here. The mirrors, the handles, the window design and shape. All right, who wins for the profile? And who has the best back end? Who likes big butts and they cannot lie? Those other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, I get sprung. Hey, look at this. I see parking sensors on both of them. I can see that already. We'll go with Tacoma this time first. All right, look at this here. See the backup camera there? Toyota Tacoma stamped in there. Nice. I see the hitch. Look at those LED tail lights. How will that compare with our friend Nissan? Let's lower that. Oh, that's nice. Composite bed here. Tie downs, deck rail system, bed lighting. That is the optional power sliding rear window. The Frontier will have that also. So what do you think there? This is a 20.2 inch bed depth. Frontier also has Nissan, Frontier. SV. Kind of a cool little back end there. All right, nice. Look at the LED tails, compare it to those. Nice. All right, let's lower this. I see the backup camera there. Slow lowering also. This one is the paint color right there. We see that it matches, it matches. I don't see a deck rail system, but I do see lots of tie downs. You can see them in the front there. So this one doesn't have the optional window, but you can get that. I wanna be clear about this one. This one has a bed height or depth of 19.4. So it's just a tad bit less than our friend Tacoma. So which bed do you like better? Which back end? All that jazz. Let's talk about this right here. 
They're both about the same for rear seat legroom. This has 33.2 in the Nissan Frontier. I put one seat forward, one seat back and reclined. It touches, but it's not uncomfortable. And the headroom is very good here. I'm five foot eight for reference. Again, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. So here we go. The seats are very comfortable. I like that. This is also comfy. Like that. Okay, nice. And then if you have the seats more forward, it's certainly more comfortable. I like the old bleep handle. Take a look at the back seat in the frontier here. Soft touch there. This is a nice panel, a little bit softer. That's good. Big, huge bottle opening there. That is nice. I believe it has two cup holders and four bottle holders, if I read that right. If I'm wrong, someone tell me in the comments section there. Very nice though. It's got under seat storage. That's certainly a plus. I like that a lot. And then what else do we have? We got to put this down. Oh, boom. And then does it have, oh, it does. It does have an armrest with big, huge bottle openings right there or cup openings. That's nice. Child safety latches, I'm sure. Yeah, they're listed right here, so that's good. All right, five seater, USB A, USB C. We've got one seat pocket that you can't use and one seat pocket that you can use. So not bad. All right, take a look here. All right, we got some work to do. Now for the Tacoma, old bleep handle here. It doesn't have one up top like the Frontier does. No seat pocket here, but there is a seat pocket here. This is with the seat, more forward. And then here, that one doesn't touch, actually it's about a half an inch, which is interesting because this one has 33.7 inches of rear seat legroom, but the Frontier has 33.2, so it's about half an inch. So you gotta determine, does half an inch make all the difference in the world or not? And then inside, Tacoma. Different look here, not soft touch. Okay, look here. Do we have under seat storage? Yeah, we do. Actually, it's pretty deep too. And then you affix it right there. That's how you button it up. Very cool, so all the way back. Does not have, okay, does not have an armrest there with cup holders that come out. That would be nice, but the cup holders are right here, so they're kind of more in view. So maybe that's an advantage. Uh, if there's a lever or a strap, I'm gonna pull it, anything like that. Oh, look, JBL speakers there, that's an upgrade. And then we've got room back here to store things, so that might be kind of nice. Let's look here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. 12 volt circular port here. And then, remember we already looked at the Frontier dash. How does that compare with Taco? Here we go, in the Frontier now. Big bottle opening right there. That's nice, soft touch panel, soft touch. Interesting use of metallic silvers. You could put something up there. What would you put? That's up to you. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Here we go. Good bolstering. Kind of firm right here. This is very soft, very plush. It's not a power passenger seat. I see handles. That's nice. Yeah, of course we're gonna pair, compare, I can't say it right, compare the glove boxes. 12 volt circular. I see USB-A, USB-C, the parking sensors. Now, this one has some safety upgrades on it on the window sticker that are not standard. So we'll look at that on the window sticker. I believe it's 900 and some dollars, maybe 990 extra. So we'll take a look here. Very deep center console there. That's nice. Okay, so now this is an eight inch screen. That's a seven inch screen. I turned the engine on. I'm gonna also do it on Tacoma because I just want you to hear what it sounds like when it's idling. So there's my tripod. It's what we work with. And do some work. Power seat. Okay, that's nice. Works really fast. Do you like the pattern? Okay, here we go. Not leather wrapped steering wheel. Steering wheel size is fine. Horn. Yeah, let's do horn. That is meaty. That is aggressive and bold. All right, right here, the middle part. That is what's digital. We got our gauges on the side here and we can just kind of scroll down 
and you can set up different features that you might like. I'll try to push them because I do want to show you what is available on each of those screens. Okay, it's possible that the only one that I can scroll down, kind of do a deep dive in, is going to be those settings. Yeah, just like that. Take a look here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I do like the way the display looks. It looks kind of cool, it looks kind of modern. It looks busy without being busy, so I like the graphics. That seems kind of cool. Lithium. All right, look at that. Chink. Click. Clink. Chink. Pink. <laughs> can go all the way through all these type of things here. We can set up settings, connections, customize the home menu. That's nice. What else can we do? Camera. Oh, yeah, let's check out the camera. Here's our backup camera. I think you'll find that the Tacoma is going to be clearer or more crisp, but I'll let you be the judge of that one. I just remember it from, okay, look at this right here, my experience with driving that one at the world premiere and the media test drive. We'll find out. Oh, manually adjusted dimmer right there. Lights, lights, lights. And then it'll have a light, I'm sure. Wait, Oh, okay, there's no light, my fault. And it does have a slider though, so that's good. Overall, the Frontier has a nice interior. I like the seats. I like the readout. I like the multimedia a lot. How does that compare to Tacoma? Here we go. So this one doesn't have a humongous bottle opener, but it has more possibilities. And you can add accessories and let them hang down, affix them, attach them. I like the softer panels on the Frontier, but this is just fine. Don't have a problem with that. I like the storage shelf there. I could see a cell phone going there. If you're a co-pilot, I like that hidden USB. This has the upgraded portable JBL Flex speaker system. So it actually comes out and you can put that on the back of your tailgate. Maybe you have it go at the beach. So that way you can play music right from there and you can hook it right into your own Bluetooth. Okay, not a power passenger seat. This is very soft right here, supportive here. Thick, thick bolstering, more than Frontier here. It's firm. Okay, let's look in the center console. I'm trying to replicate exactly how I showed you. So the Frontier has a deeper center compartment right there. I like this handle. I like the texture, the grip. I like these handles, nice and chunky, and they've got some flair to them. They got a personality, so I like that. All right, let's go to the other side. This one has the SR5 upgrade package on it, on the Tacoma. So it's gonna have some extra features too. We'll see that in the window sticker next section. All right, same panels there. Really like this interior, like it a lot. I see lumbar support there, that's kind of cool. And you can, doesn't have a power seat on this trim, but you can pump it up and down. So how do you like the pattern on this one? How does it compare with Frontier? Leather wrap steering wheel. Here's the controls. All right, look at this here. Let's do the horn test. All right, have a feeling there. Which one you like? Let's go through this one. Oh, here's the settings. So you can go through and change your favorite settings however you want it. Any messages? So which digital readout do you like best? Do you have a preference? Does one jump out at you more? Traction, pitch and roll meter, that's cool. Okay, now we're gonna go over to here, tow haul. ECT select, it's got the engine start and stop, wireless charging, electronic parking brake, brake hold, USBs, so just different places. And again, I really like these dials here a lot. Actually, that's kind of a cool pocket right there, kind of a hidden one. So this is digital, that's nice. And then this one right here, ooh, we got a Livy Newton-John going on, nice. All right, so do you like this readout better than the Nissan or do you like the Nissan better? 
Which one? So some things you can do, trip information. We can do settings, set up profiles and move them back and forth. Can customize just like that. So each one has a series of advantages there. And then I see auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for garage door opener programming, sunglass holder, lights, lights. Oh, I should show you this one. The Frontier doesn't have it on this particular truck, but remember, optionally, you could get this. This is how you open it up. It goes pretty darn fast. All right, so does it have a light? Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, light. So that's an advantage over the Frontier with the light. Okay, how do you like it? And we'll put Tacoma in reverse so we can see that backup camera. Which one do you like better? Do you have a preference? Tacoma has a great interior too. I love the multimedia capabilities. I like the digital readout. Which interior do you like best? Write it down if you don't mind, thanks. Now let's go for window sticker here. This is the Frontier. Nice. Okay, two wheel drive. Here's the fuel mileage. We're kind of gonna go all the way around everywhere. Remember, this is at Fred Anderson Nissan of Raleigh. They have a lot of these trucks, so if you're interested, check them out. They have a lot of inventory overall, actually. So here we go. Now we're gonna come up here. This is standard equipment from the factory. It's got that V6 engine. Is that important to you? Rear suspension stabilizer. Trailer sway control. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I like the power driver seat, that's for sure. That's nice standard. Now how's pricing gonna shake out here? 33,870. Okay, it's got some splash guards, some floor mats, a technology package. This is the 991. Yeah, I was right about the price. Here's safety features. Now, a lot of these things are standard on the Tacoma, so that won't need to be updated, but I'm glad they give you the option to do that. This one is 36,795, and we're gonna kind of fade out because we're gonna get a last look at this one because we're gonna have to rate them at the end, right? Standard features and pricing on Tacoma, okay? The safety ratings are not out on the 2024, they're not listed. So the fuel mileage advantage is there. Which engine and powertrain do you like best? Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Nice. Okay, this one starts more, 37.2, and it does have, it's got an extra option package on it, so that's gonna add the final price. So remember, if you don't want it, take that off because we're trying to compare as close to apples as apples. Apples as apples? Apples versus apples as possible. This one has some extra options also on it from the regional assembly port. Not all vehicles are gonna have a lot of options, some options, no options. This is at Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh. Go to fredandersontoyota.com. And if you want the Nissan, go to Fred Anderson Nissan of Raleigh. That's nissanofraleigh.com. So this one's gonna cost more overall, but remember it's got a huge option package for $3,000 on it. And then we're gonna fade out of this one so you get your final look at Tacoma from the side. All right, let's try to make some sense of this. Let's say we've got one buyer and two trucks. Which one are you going with? That's our cut and dry overall decision. Now, if you could piece it together, would you piece together the wheels of the Frontier, the multimedia of, of Tacoma, the styling of Tacoma, the bed space of Frontier? I don't even know what your criteria is what are you gonna go with? Performance, power, ride comfort, gas mileage, pricing. Maybe that's important to you. Anyway, thanks guys so much, but leave your comments and please subscribe. If you like videos like this, they're fun, they're thorough. We just try to have a good time. No boring car reviews, and I help people buy cars and trucks and SUVs, but I also help you learn about the vehicles you've already bought. Maybe you didn't know what that button meant. I can help. Thanks everybody. We'll see you later. See you next time. Woo! That's right, I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook at Auto Jeff Reviews. Peace. And feel free to check out the suggested videos. It might be something that you're looking for here at Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks, everybody. Hope you're having a great day and enjoy your weekends.